What the heck, this is supposed to be Minecraft, not a horror game? Now this right here is a result of adding all the add-ons in this video to MCPE, creating an extreme survival experience whereas all the mobs are now literal nightmares to encounter. This includes all sorts of new bosses to face, adding new progression and difficulty. Bro, when I tell you this will be hard, I ain't lying. This list has add-ons that also create random events like tornadoes, adds new structures to explore, and even dragons. Yes, yeah, dragons. Matter of fact, this video is sponsored by a game that includes dragons too. Call of Dragons is a brand new fantasy adventure strategy game with unlimited possibilities by the same creators of Rise of Kingdoms with MMORPG elements. Your main goal is to protect your homeland called Tamaris from mighty behemoths which are ancient and powerful beasts created by darkness. Defeating a behemoth doesn't only mean huge rewards as a defeated behemoth will join your alliance and fight alongside you becoming your secret weapon in battles against other alliances. How you train your behemoth is entirely up to you as there's multiple skill trees to choose from, pairing your behemoth with the right combination of units and heroes could be your path to domination. With the guidance of a wise beastmaster, your behemoth will be entirely unstoppable. There is a truly huge scale of battles as you can deploy up to 5 legions each consisting of 1000 units then team up with alliance members in rallied armies of over 40 players to unleash hell on a colossal scale. I found myself enjoying this game so much that I've created my own alliance called My World which you can join as we aim to defeat this behemoth. What are you waiting for? An adventure filled with magic, monsters and mastery awaits. Download Call of Dragons on PC from the first link in the description as it will help the channel out a lot. The first add-on in this list is Address Complex, which separates the health and hunger bars, meaning a full hunger bar won't replenish your health anymore, which you now have to use traditional methods like crafting bandages or creating a healing remedy with a bow. It also adds in a hot shard ore, which can be mined to draw pieces of hot shards you can combine to create a hot crystal, used to increase your hearts. Know that it has a maximum of 10 uses. The next feature is sure to make you feel lost in your playthrough as it disables coordinates up until you craft or find a compass, making it much more difficult but rewarding. Speaking about rewarding, an add-on that does the complete opposite is Thirst Add-on which punishes you for not drinking water with nausea and death. They are items that will help you create drinkable water like the water recovery, the water extractor and the water distiller which makes water buckets much more useful. The canteen can be filled from these new items but has a capacity of 3 uses before running empty. Heavy loads is a slight yet noticeable feature whereas vanilla armors now have weight like they should, affecting your movement speed when wearing one of these armors. The amount of movement speed will vary depending on the armor, for example netherite will weigh the heaviest given the slowest movement speed. Moving on, this add-on adds a blood moon that will happen randomly making mobs more deadly. For example, skeletons will have enchanted swords and axes. This goes to the zombies too. Their spawn rates will also increase so much that it overwhelms the iron golem because the mobs have much more strength. If you want an alternative to the previous add-on, more events adds its own version of the blood moon to Minecraft along with various other features. The mobs in the blood moon will have strength too and resistance too and if you're a seasoned gamer you'll know that's bad news. There's also events like toxic guests that deal damage unless you're in water, toxic rain will challenge you to find shelter quickly, a tornado and random meteorites. I wish you good luck with this Alan. Survival Reworked is a huge expansion to the progression of the game along with new mobs that you just have to deal with. I mean even the oceans aren't safe anymore. <laughs> Regardless, the entire ore system changed whereas you need to get tin or copper ore in order to get iron. This is a feature that motivates you to discover new ores which are truly like. When you found iron you will need platinum but be careful of the new pillager miners. Once you found sufficient platinum to create a great armor set called platinum armor, you need artifacts as the guide mentions that in order to defeat a boss called the abomination, more on him later. To get artifacts you need to either break vases or find them throughout the world which you can place on the first lot of your inventory for some amazing buffs. For example a shockwave landing including no fall damage, ability to breathe underwater in sacrifice for strength and a floating axe which gets summoned when you're under 3 hearts. Well this is the abomination, he surely is an arrow spammer so be sure to have a shield. Regardless he's a force not to be reckoned with as he can summon evoker fans. Don't even try and hide behind walls or blocks as they face through them. Let's not even talk about his face to counterpart bro. Once you hopefully defeat him, the nether will be unlocked and mobs in the overall will progressively become more powerful. What I love about this add-on is that it has a great progression system which makes up for Mojang's updates along with rewarding armors for defeating bosses. 
The nerds add on nerfs vanilla food completely as they feel less hunger buzz, meaning you'll have to explore the world for new crops in order to make new food items. You will also have to create new equipment in order to make these new foods along with new ores like salt just to fill your hunger properly, much similar to real life. Welcome to my cooking show. I mean, I'm Gordon Ramsay, so I don't need no manual to cook for- Okay, don't mind. <laughs> but okay, so I'm gonna put this two watermelons in the blender right now. And while we wait, I have a little joke for you. Which friend shall you take out to dinner? Your taste buds. Oh, bro. Okay, don't need subscribe. Me. All right, now it's done and yeah. There's a whole cooking manual you can check out in this add-on. So yeah, I really recommend you check it out. One add-on you're definitely going to need is Rise More Tools, adding over 80 new items from tools and armor which have unique effects like the Skulk armor, much similar to the Warden, but releases a sonic boom when you hit, and the Soul Soil armor affecting mob with burning damage and slowness as if it's draining its soul, and finally the Quartz armor having a ram effect like the Goat. Warden Plus adds new mobs that are more aggressive, reactive, and intelligent than the traditional mobs, making them formidable opponents. These wardens spawn naturally in the overworld and some are just not meant to be defeated but to be feared when you encounter them. Where is your only left with the option to run? Like trust me when I say when you see this bad boy over here, just, just log off the game because there is no way you're gonna defeat it. Total Carnage will make you hate cows as they turn into this dangerous and unholy beast. Matter of fact, most if not every single mob in this add-on is against you adding on to the challenge. What I like is that the mobs also fight each other being somewhat balanced. Some mobs in this add-on hide themselves only for you to be caught in their trap, like this chest actually being a gateway to the respawn screen. Others can be boss mobs ready to merge as soon as you break a block. For example the gravitite boss mob which will honestly put your rage quitting to the test. Regardless, all these mobs have great animations, whether it's attacking or dying, and they are rewarding as it opens a whole window for treasure. One thing I've noticed about this add-on is the amount of boss mobs, which is honestly appreciated, like the Moth Mother who will put you in a cocoon, or the Fallen Summoner who is summoned when you break the bookcase on a pedestal that will ultimately cause a great dread if you're undergeared and this worm that will put you underground only for you to suffocate. So Naga is a dragon you can also encounter in your journey along with the floating chaos which summons meteorites to engulf the area with flames and explosions. Other dimensions are also covered in this add-on whereas you may meet new mobs and bosses which is great as there is a lot of content to discover. Another great aspect of this add-on is the armor designs which I'm confident you will love. Now going to the end dimensions for the next add-on, you will need end crystals to craft an item called a manifest used to summon bosses otherwise called disciples of the void. These bosses are creatures with deep lore found in the official page whereas defeating them has a cool sound and access to new items. My favorite disciple is Aletara as he has a unique death ability whereas his sword will follow you for the rest of your playthrough which will try everything to kill you. Good luck with that. Hey, yo, bro, go, bro. What the hell, bro? It offers a new armor set and a new ability with the blade that ends anything caught within the area. Extra Mutants is a lightweight yet amazing add-on that adds new potions called Substance V and Solution U that can be crafted with obsidian and can be thrown towards mobs like the stray or spiders to mutate them into these volatile and extremely dangerous beasts. Talk about a glow up. These mutants are really hard and you will need a decent armor set to even try and defeat these monstrosities. As I know you're going to die a lot, Soulbound items as a soul anvil you can use to create a very useful enchantment called Soulbound through the Soul Stone which makes any piece of item permanent, meaning once you die the item won't disappear from your inventory. This works for modded custom items too, being a great add-on. Simple backpacks will help you survive the onslaught of all the mobs we've added so far, offering a backpack you can store all your items in it. It can be removed by interacting with the hand item and deleted with some shears. More simple structures includes many structures around the world that will make exploration worth it. As you can find dungeons and towers with all sorts of loot but they may have some traps. Just be careful out there. 
This is the add-on outer. You might notice some extra add-ons which I've said if you are just an extremist and want to die all the time. <laughs> Regardless, I hope you enjoyed the video. Watch uh, this video for some sweet survival add-ons and comment your favorite add-on. Huge thanks to Call of Dragons for sponsoring this video. I'm going to see you next week.